Hi there. To locate the mean geometric chord of the wing, let us consider a trapezoidal wing as shown in on screen. It is a swept back wing which is a tapper trapezoidal wing also. So it has the root chord CR and the tip chord as CT. Then what we do is we find the point midpoint of the root chord and the midpoint of the tip chord. Then we join these two points. So this gives us a C by 2 line. So this is a C by 2 line. Now we measure, we measured this particular distance which is CR. So we measure this root chord and we place this here. So now you have a point which you can mark just above the leading edge of the tip chord here. Okay. Measure the distance here and mark there. Then let's measure the distance CT. And this CT distance, we measure it from the trailing edge of the root chord and mark a point like this. Then we join this and this line in this manner. So the point at which, let's move this point somewhere here. I'll write this C by 2 line here. So the point at which this line intersects the C by 2 line is the point through which my mean aerodynamic chord passes. So the mean aerodynamic chord is a line joining the leading edge and trailing edge which passes through this particular point. So this is my mean aerodynamic chord or you can say it's actually the mean geometric chord. Let us denote this with C bar. So this is located at a distance Y bar from the root chord, root of the wing. Okay. So this is what is called the mean geometric chord. So it is a good design practice to take mean geometric chord as the as equal to the mean aerodynamic chord. Let us calculate what is mean aerodynamic chord and how do we find it. So to calculate mean aerodynamic chord, let us consider a local chord C of y which is a function of y. y is the distance measured from the aircraft longitudinal axis or you can say from the root chord. So in determining the mean aerodynamic chord it is convenient to work with the half wing like I have considered here. For a general plan form the location of length of the mean aerodynamic chord can be determined using the following integral. So the mean aerodynamic chord can be found as c bar equals to 0 to b by 2 which is the semi plan, a semi wingspan and c square of y dy divided by 0 to b by 2 ds which gives us c bar equals to 0 to b by 2 c square of y dy by s by 2. So we can write the formula as c bar equals to 2 by s 0 to b by 2 c square of y 
dy. So using this formula, one can compute the mean aerodynamic chord of the wing. For a constant taper and constant sweep angle, if I consider a general trapezoidal plan form, mean aerodynamic chord can also be determined by using the formula C bar equals to 2 by 3 CR, which is the root chord value, into 1 plus lambda plus lambda square, all divided by 1 plus lambda, where CR we know is the root chord length and lambda is called as the taper ratio which is equal to tip chord by root chord. So it is very important to understand where to use the mean aerodynamic chord. So where do we use the mean aerodynamic chord? The entire wing has its wing mean aerodynamic center at approximately the same percentage location of the mean aerodynamic chord as that of the aerophile. In subsonic flow, this is at the quarter chord point on the mean aerodynamic chord. In supersonic flow, the aerodynamic center moves back to about 50% of the mean aerodynamic chord. So the designer uses the mean aerodynamic chord and the resulting aerodynamic center point to position the wing properly. Also, the mean aerodynamic chord will be important to stability calculations. So, apart from that, in many formulas like the aerodynamic formulas like lift L equals to half rho V square S CL, drag like half rho V square S CD, the pitching moment like half rho V square S C bar into CM, which is the pitching moment coefficient. So here we have C bar directly, whereas in every formula we have the plan form area. So the wing plan form area is in general written as B into C bar. So normally this length into breadth is the expression for area of a rectangle. So what this means is B into C bar means we have found an equivalent rectangular wing plan form area which produces the same aerodynamic lift, drag and the pitching moment which you can say is the equivalent plan form area S of this trapezoidal wing. It is a equivalent rectangular wing. Thank you.